and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there for some Bant Party Bus. That's right, we had a donation for a, what was it, Naya Party Bus? Yeah, it was Naya Party Bus um, just a couple of days ago. Got another one, now we're going Bant, and honestly this looks a little better. We're still playing, still you know, a little bit of a janky deck, but that's, that's like going to be the fun of it. So if, if you don't know what we're talking about here with Party Bus, we're talking about Lumbering Battlement, trying to get some enter the battlefield creatures out there and then exile our own creatures with Lumbering Battlement so that whenever Lumbering Battlement leaves the battlefield, they can all come on back and continue to gain value again. This time we are, we are taking this Party Bus and notching it up to 11 because not only are we playing all these battlements, but we're trying to make more battlements where we have spark doubles and mirror images trying to copy the battlement. And if you have three battlements, you get to go infinite if you have three of them on the battlefield. Um, so basically how it would work is you'd have like one uh, would exile, right? Isn't that right? Don't, you, don't we go infinite with three? Yeah, because you'd have like one exile another, right? So then there's, so that's like that. So you have one under another one, and then you play a third. Once you play the third and you exile the second one, then the first one comes back and then would exile the third, which would make the second one come back and then exile the first again, which would make the third. And yeah, they would just continue on like that. So if we can, if we can get that chain going, we can have infinite enter the battlefield effects for our other creatures. And so the, the the kind of janky thing that we have in here uh, to pay for the payoff for having infinite enter the battlefield effects is Homerid Explorer. So we're just going to be trying to mill our opponent out um, with our infinite mill combo there. So we need three three battlements, you know, and these these count as battlements also. So you know, we need three of these eight cards plus an explorer. <laughs> we'll see if we ever get to pull it off. Uh, however, we do have like a lot of ways to like look for those cards. We have three Vivians that you know tick up and and really help us dig pretty quickly to look for more copies of Battlements or the Explorer. Tamio, of course, that same thing gets to go look at four cards for uh, for those. Plus, it can minus and and bring them back from the graveyard. Uh, then we have like our Explore creatures, which of course dig through our deck pretty quickly. So, uh, yeah, and you know Teferi's just good defense and all that kind of stuff to make sure that like if we have a combo that our opponent can't use instant speed removal to interact with it if we have a teferi out there so <laughs> yeah uh wouldn't wall of lost thoughts be better cost less and helps against aggro and it's the same number of cards yeah maybe um because are we really attacking people for four or for three is that something that we're doing Do you want okay all right well let's let's go with wall of lost thoughts then to help against aggro uh the person that donated for the deck said that's a good idea let's change it up so yeah there we go all right so that's that's now our new combo same number of cards um and it's an 04 which is going to be better against like mono red for us and it costs less just two mana instead of four um so we'll see if, if we ever actually get to do that combo um if if that combo isn't going to work out, the other card that uh, we we're talking about having in that slot, uh, you know, we'll see like afterwards. But I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty high on Riverwise Augur, honestly, and so that's another card that we could maybe have in the slot. That it wouldn't be infinite mill combo, but it would just. Uh, I think that uh, this card has a lot of good synergy with the deck of, you know, it it's mostly going to be like a draw three a lot of the time without like the real downside because we'll be able to draw three put two cards that we don't want uh, back on top of the library, and then we can clear off those cards. Like, if they're lands, we can clear them off with our explore creatures and just put the lands back in our hand. You know, so we can just put a land on top, play a branch walker, grab it again, for example. Or if it's, like, a, a spell, um, or, you know, if it's lands, you know, we can just put them, if we have, like, a Tamio or a Vivian out, you know, we can just put, like, the lands back and then, like, tick up the Tamio or the Vivian and just clear them out so we don't have to worry about drawing those. You know, so it's not, you know, they don't just, like, get stuck for our next couple of draws. Um, <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, if they have a Narset out, we would never want to play that Augur. And, of course, if it's like a, you know, we put back a Lumbering Battlement or whatever, then we take up Tamiyo and name Lumbering Battlement, and we can grab it again. If we have two of the same card in hand, we can put them both back and take up the Tamiyo and grab them both. Um, so there's some cool, neat party tricks we get to do with Riverwise Augur, but we're going to try the Infinite Mill combo first. That's what we're going to try here with Wall of Lost Thoughts. All right, that's enough talking about the deck. Let's get to it. Let's kick off this Sunday fun day stream with our Bant party bus. Hey, Dirk. Um, I'm going to go ahead and update that in, in Stream Decker. Let's make that change. So good call there, Boot. Wall of Lost Thoughts. Make that cheaper. Uh, it's an expensive brainstorm with a body. Yeah, it's it's the card brainstorm. Oh no. We're going first. All right, the old mold of five. Game one, not, not the best start. <laughs> hey, Damon. Welcome back. So, yeah, we're... So, uh... The R's, if you're kind of newer here, the R's are going to be ranked. That's where we'll be playing some ranked matches. Uh, this donation deck, and then also with Dredge later, we will be playing in these competitive constructed events. All right, well, now we got all of our lands after having a couple one-landers. We found all of them. Yeah, mold of five, get seven lands. Eight lands. <laughs> Ooh, another land. All right, so it looks like it's, Trust me. you know, as per control stuff. I've got it. Hey, another land. What are we going to have on top now? Yeah, might as well. You know, Fibble Thip will just draw the next card. And we'll still have four mana, so unless it's a five drop. We need to move quickly. Yep, Fibble Thip just draws a card, so might as well grab it. Here we go. I, yeah, we could have faked the Frilled Mystic earlier if I would have shocked in or just played a non... Or just played like one of these lands, a non-shock land. As you can tell, I didn't... Didn't particularly care to do that. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Right, we found a Battlement. Wow, they just don't want to absorb. Is there... Really anything better to draw than Absorb? Like Absorb just protects their Teferi that's gonna win the game. Hold that thought. Like Absorb has to be the best draw. Oh well. Don't make another move. All right, battlement time. Party bus. <laughs> what? I guess now they need removal, but still. Is 
So I guess I need to, uh, you need to not do auto order triggered abilities. Because I want to do the draw first and then explore. Hmm. Yeah, might as well. Those who cannot proceed beyond meditate and prepare. So I think I actually attacked Narset here over to Fairy so that Narset can't really mine us again without. Fury will only lead you astray. Um. All right, party bus. Load on up. All right, draw this battlement, and we get to we do get to draw because it's their turn. They, they should probably mortify like on my upkeep. All right, Jay Light grabbing a couple lands. Keep up the pace. Yeah, because if they, if they do that, like, on my up, upkeep, I can only draw, like, the one card a turn with Narset. Oh, but they're just going to get rid of Narset. Just the trick for this. Yeah, three battlements loop. Yep. That's, that's, yep, that's an infinite thing. Mind and hone your prowess. Get so many cards. Uh, contain your rage. The Fibble Fibblethip's been pretty sweet. Really wish Fibblethip was a two one. Would have made a good difference. So I'm gonna play it like this so that the Lanawar Elf dies to the Eldest Reborn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ha. Well, we may be able to kill this no Teferi. I guess it's going to come back, though, with that Eldest Reborn. Put thoughtfulness before action. Telephone and move in. Hmm. Suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Right on schedule. All right, let's go and ban bounce the battlements. We draw two. Vivian's a good one. Let's see if you're worthy. Obviously, this Liliana is going to be big trouble, but we're we're doing some things. Another Liliana. Ugh. <laughs> this is a strange deck. I like it. Yeah. We are putting up a pretty decent fight after Molin to five, and you know, having all this stuff. We are. Good help is easy to find in war. We're putting up a fight. Dang. 
Almost had the ability to go infinite. Don't okay. Worry. I got this. You Honestly, we may be able to mill out our opponent. Here. Honestly. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. We have enough of mana. Definitely possible we could mill them out. They're down to 20 cards. Oh no! Oh man, we were one card away from the infinite combo. Uh, they're like, you know, three mana away. Oh, I didn't even take up Teferi, did I? Did I take up Teferi? I don't remember if I did or not. It just kind of passed my turn. From battle to the grave. <laughs> Oh yeah, I do have this thing, so yeah, I guess I did tick up. I'll find a use for you later. They're down to 18 cards? Honestly, I think we have this. I honestly think we're gonna win this. What? The heck is that? Emergency powers? Man, talk about an emergency. Wow, we gotta start over? Okay, wait, do I have do I have the mana? I need a Five, I got, I got three of them, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, I need 12 mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Wow, we did it. We did it, exactly enough mana. This is gonna work, right? I think this works. I think we did this. <laughs> All right, let me auto auto order triggered. Doesn't really matter now. All right, we'll exile this and this. Copy this. Exile this. We did it. Infinite mill. <laughs> Copy this. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> they figured it out. Infinite. Oh, man. Yeah, thanks for that emergency powers. I mean, I think we were going to win anyway, but then, yeah, that emergency powers just really helped us win. <laughs> Thanks for that hype jelly. Oh man. So 
uh, do we have to keep playing, or is that the whole league? I mean, we we did what we came here to do. <laughs> it, I don't think it can get any better from here. Yeah, that was awesome. All right, so we're going to bring in all these counter spell cards. Wait, we have three land war elf in the deck? That's weird. I don't know anything that's like bad to take out. All right, so we're going to take out Wild Growth Walker. What's the other thing we take out, though? Is it just the elf? I mean, I guess it's just elf. Hmm. So all these other cards are good. I guess they're going to have, like, their Teferis. Maybe I shouldn't have all these counter spells because of, like, little Teferi. I'm just going to cut a negate. Cut a Fibble Thib. Come on. We can't cut Fibble Thib. That card's great. It's the hardest part about magic, the sideboarding. I could see that. I hope somebody clipped that. If you did clip it, put it in the Discord channel under the highlight section on the, of the Discord channel. If somebody clipped that. <laughs> uh, this was... <laughs> yeah, quit while ahead. Good call. <laughs> yeah, that was after a mold of five. But we did, we did just have lots of lands. We just got to keep on hitting land drops. And eventually we had all, all three combo pieces... Um, in our hand. Uh, cool. Uh, what was the next question? Oh, yeah, so Tristani... Honestly, I would like Tristani in this matchup, but I don't know... Like, I, I didn't really see anything that I wanted to take out for Tristani, but, like, Tristani is good. <laughs> Do we just make our comp our opponent just close their game? Do they just I look like Matt Dillon. Wait, who's Matt Dillon? I was thinking Matt Damon at first when I reset that, and I was like Matt Damon. But no, Matt Dillon. This deck is still being milled. The, the infinite pain. Yeah, this looks like a, a rage quit after being infinite milled. <laughs> uh huh. No, our opponent's uninstalling. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, Bant Party Bus. Starting off with a 1 0. Hopefully, we just play that same game again for the rest of the rest of the league. The combo is so OP that when you pull it off of uninstall opponent's game. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. So we'll go Breeding Pool first, so that if I want to play the Wall of Lost Thoughts, we can do that and put the Temple Garden into play tapped for turn two. We'll use the Land War off there. I 
Ooh, even better. Feeble feeb. Um. Looks like as per control again, I'll, I'll go in shock. Paying two life to deal one damage. What am I ticking up with? Like, if I play Tamiyo next turn, what am I ticking up to try to find? Is it like Jade Light Ranger? It's probably Jade Light Ranger. Now, I keep an open mind. No thought of Razor for you. You think I should be looking for a clone? You will be excellent research. Let me aid the clones are like two ofs, though. Jade Light's a... A four of that helps us hit land... Like, Jade Light helps us hit land drops, which, you know, like, we're... Like, especially if there's, like, a Wrath effect or anything like that, like, we're going to need more lands. And Jade Light helps us do that. Thought Erasure. Thought Erasure. Thought Erasure. Meditate and prepare. <laughs> Thanks, Oslin. All stories must end. Mm. Certainly possible I was supposed to cast Wall of Lost Thoughts instead of Wild Growth Walker to prevent the wall getting thought erasured, but I think we want to get this pressure out here. All right, no problem. I can get it in there after the stream also. <laughs> Taking the wall. Uh, Michelle Brio. Hello. Sorry, I missed your message there earlier. That's true. I would have flipped there as Kanta if I do the whole mill thing. Good point. Party bus. Get you on there, get you on there, and you? Sure, you can come too. Up board. Get a big 10-11, and they're at 11. Party bus. All right, get on back in here. Um. 
So they're trust me. You'll they're gonna need instant later. speed removal. Hurry. So do they have another mortify? They do not. All right, so we'll get the Frilled Mystics, the Negates. Cut the Llanowar Elf and the Wild Growth Walker. Hmm. Maybe I'll just cut one of the clones. Yeah, because if they kind of kill all of my things, I'll cut one clone. They're like doing their Esper thing and killing all my stuff, and I just have like this clone in hand that I can't do anything with. That could be bad. Yeah, ba Battlement is a heck of a card. I don't know. How would Takatli. Why? Oh, Takatli. Right, 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 right. I was thinking Tristani. Sorry. You were saying that. Like, hope they don't have Takatli, and I was like, well, how would that. Yeah, Tristani. That's what I was thinking Tristani, but yeah, Takali Honor Guard stopping all the ETB effects. That would be rough, but I can't imagine they're actually playing that. I mean, yeah, we're not going to beat Takali Honor Guard. Our, like, what do we have? We have, like, Little Teferi to get rid of it? Yeah, we're not beating that card. Yeah, Small Vivian giving Battlement Flash. Is pretty sweet. Yeah, definitely nothing wrong with flashing in battlements. Basically, making battlement a frilled mystic against a wrath, kind of. How do we win with lumbering battlement? We attack him. His lumbering battlement turns into a really big creature. And so then our opponent has to kill the Lumbering Battlement. But then we get a bunch of Enter the Battlefield triggers again and gain a lot of value from that. We also have an Infinite Mill combo that we had the first game that we played with this deck. We'll see if they have either of the three mana Planeswalkers to ferry or Narset for us to counter here. No. Hmm. See, I feel like they have two mana removal. I am not going to sit this one out. I'll protect you. And yeah, so I didn't play like the Jade Light Ranger. Now they have to move to discard. Like the phases of the moon, you are seek and find. All right, no frilled mystics. Let's try this. Focused and disciplined. Encounter no obstacle. I have just the trick for this. Saying the next turn I was gonna have Jade Light. I was gonna play Jade Light and hold up negate the next turn. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Hmm. Might be a bad idea. All 
Okay, so uh, my opponent cannot cast instant speed stuff, so their only turn to play anything is, like their only time to play anything is right now, sorcery speed. I don't really know exactly why they're minusing, because that's just going to make them play something. All right, so you just get to see my hand. It's fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can get all the... Yeah. Michelle, if you're asking for the any of the deck lists, you can find them all there. Well, the reason why I don't think we, we necessarily need a counter is because if my opponent has a moment of craving... I don't want them to be able to play the moment of craving during their turn there. Overwhelming. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. To the library. <laughs> ah, there's a battlement. Because with, with me having Tamiyo out, the Thought Razor didn't actually take anything. They just got to see my hand. Anything I want? Not particularly. What do I want? So I have three negates. I think you will find my notes uh, two frilled mystics, which is why I'm saying negate. Um, I was planning on bouncing the frilled mystic. With the Teferi. No, I am not making this up as I go. That would kind of give me too many cards. I mean, I guess I could have after playing that Jade Light Ranger there. If they had like a an angel, like you know, Lyra Dawnbringer or something, that I wouldn't wouldn't uh, be able to negate. Uh, we'd have like the Vivian for that. It was basically like Hostage Taker was like the one card I didn't really want to see. That's more like it. All right, I was gonna minus Tamio and grab another negate. They're just they're just so dead. They're just so very dead. We're gonna be able to have Frilled Mystic plus two negates there. All right, we're two zero. Bant party bus. It's been pretty good against Esper so far. Yeah, um, Max asking, like, you know, what should be another deck that you should build besides just Mono Red for, like, another Arena deck. Honestly, I would recommend just kind of check, checking out, just, you know, kind of browse through the MTG Goldfish metagame there. You know, you can kind of go through all the different decks here. See, what do you what do you like? You know, what do you want to play? Um, and also with your Arena collection, you know, like, what, what is kind of easier to make also? Um... You know, standard is full of 
good decks that you can play. And it's kind of it's kind of up to you of what fits your collection and what looks enjoyable. <laughs> Bant Party Bus is the only logical step after Mono Red. Agree. All right, so Sesper Control again. It's probably not with Basic Island, but still can be. It's probably not after Opt. Still could be. So is there any like good reason to have two Teferis in play? I think my opponent has Lightning Strike here. Hopefully not negate. All right, not negate. Let's slow this down. Trust me. I could spark I double the Teferi. <laughs> Do I ever play Oathbreaker? Enough. No, I've never played Oathbreaker if that's a game. Here goes nothing. I kind of want to do this. Yeah, let's do this. Hmm. <laughs> hey, what's up, Timmy? Ah, uh, Earthbreaker is a variation of Commander. Thanks for that sub there. For six months now. Awesome. Yeah. I'm going to be just using my mana like the next few turns quite a bit. You show remorse. I'll show restraint. All right, so it looks like looks like like a teamer reclamation deck from what we've seen with opt and shock. That's you know, it looks like a teamer deck that's like a teamer control deck kind of thing. Um, so in that kind of deck, they're going to shock all my land war elves. Like, I'm, I honestly just kind of want to treat this like the Esper control deck, I think. Let's just do the same thing. Well, maybe Wall of Lost Thoughts isn't so good here against the... Chemister Insight deck. But it does give us that combo kill. It does give us that combo kill. Yeah, let's get let's get Knight of Autumns in here. Yeah. Cause it, yeah, that's a good call. Knight of Autumn. Hmm. And then I take out the mirror images. Mirror, mirror image on the wall. I'm hoping I have enough damage still to be able to get through here without like the infinite combo kind of thing. All right, basically the same hand we just had. Yeah, can't shock my land war elf if I board out land war elf. All right, only eight more shock lands to go. Our opponent's definitely trying to counter this to fairy here. Let's get Jade Light in play instead. Yeah, that's fine.
All right, so Chemister's Insight here. Do I want a Frilled Mystic or Chemister's Insight? The real question. And the answer is going to be yes. Gotta get pressure out there. Hey, Krogo. Thanks for that sub there. Four months in a row. You're awesome, Krogo. Thank you. Second sub on the day there. If I do not cast Frilled Mystic there, I'm not casting it on my opponent's turn. Because as, as you can tell, like my opponent just passed the turn, right? So I, I just waste my whole turn if I don't, ca if I don't cast Frilled Mystic there on that chemistry's insight. That's unfortunate, the Vivian getting countered. Resolve this time. Nope. Our opponent's already down to eight. Shocked in three times. Two hits from the Frilled Mystic. Uh, fresh meat. I don't understand your question. I don't know what T R O L. I don't understand. I know my responsibility. Don't worry. I got this. When you draw spells. No, the Band Arcboy deck's good. It's my it's my best performing deck right now. It's a deck that I Stop that. No. Uh, you know, got to you know, mythic top thousand with last month. Do you accept the do you just accept that you can't beat Simic slash Nissa with this deck? Why why couldn't we? Making this up as I go. Why? Why would you just not be able to? This isn't a fight you can win. I'll protect you. Perfect. Perfect card. Double the time waster. Simic may not necessarily be a favorable matchup, but I don't I don't see why you just wouldn't be able to win it at all. Like that's I can't I can't really imagine like there's not really hundred zero matchups in standard. I mean there I mean there may be one somewhere that someone's going to point out, but...
We also have an like we have an infinite mill combo, so Simic doesn't interact very much. Their like their interaction is just like mass manipulation. We can just you know put together our infinite mill combo. We just mill mill Simic out. That'd be like the way to to win that matchup. That seems like a a plan that could work sometimes. Yeah, I can I can use Teferi to bounce the Frilled Mystic after countering something. Hey, who please? Howdy. Yeah, we just three three lumbering battlements and a wall of lost thoughts. We did it the first game here. We milled out somebody. We milled out an Esper player. Well, the first game, whenever we had Teferi and then Spark double, our opponent just conceded. This game, we Teferi and then Spark double it, and then our opponent just goes away, I guess. They don't like. That's more like it. Here we go. Yeah, thanks, Oslin. Thanks for that. Thanks for that uh, clip there. I've been just actually like pretty impressed with Spark Double the more I play the card. I kind of want to play a four Spark Double deck. You want me to phase you out of time? Frilled Mystic, Little Teferi. It's a good combo. It's a good combo. All right, we're 3-0 with Bant Party Bus. <laughs> so far, so good, yeah. So far, so good. We've just played against like three control decks and won all the games so far. Ooh, there you go, Simic. Oh yeah, quasi dupla ooze with with the spark doubles there. Okay, that's a place to use it. Riley, be nice. Come on. That's unnecessary and uncalled for in chat there. Um. Alright, so Wild Growth Walker, I play it, it gets it gets lightning strike to like hundred percent. So I'm gonna wait till turn five and try I'm gonna try to hold off until turn five to be able to play Wild Growth Walker into Jade Light Ranger. I think that's the best course of action here. Next turn I'll be playing the Time Raveler and bouncing the Steamkin. I can no longer stand by and watch. And Time Raveler will die to this firebrand, but then I'll just play another Time Raveler to do that again. Just bounce Steamkin. So all we need to do is just slow our opponent down. Vitellia, hey, how's it going? Games so far have been awesome today. Been a lot of fun. 
Our Bant Party Bus deck is working. This is we'll see how it does feet. against Mono Red here, though. May not work as well. Let's get another green source in play. So that if we draw Sorry, any... Late. You know, any, uh, not un any non-shock land, we can cast both of these next turn. Okay. Alright, so good news, we get to Wild Growth plus Jade Light next turn. And party bus? Alright, this can get crazy. It's possible this gets crazy. It's also possible we just die. We have two possibilities. Nope, we don't have any board wipes, especially not game one. Hey, Quilting, it's going really good. All right, they have two cards left. That's not many cards. We can definitely beat what's on the battlefield right now. It's just, can we beat what our opponent, whatever our opponent has in hand? Okay, it's a good sign. No attacks. No attacks. Be scared. No, don't attack. Hmm. No. All right, well, I guess I have to block with Jade Light, right? I don't want to, because I want to mirror image the Jade Light. Hmm. So this is 8 damage, which would put me down to 6. Oh, no blocks. Yeah, we do have the Branch Walker that I could go Wow Growth Branch Walker gain 6. 6 is not 12, though. Hoping it's not a three damage burn spell. And they did not. They didn't just kill the the Jade Light with the Fanatical Firebrand either. Wow, this is looking great now. Back to 18. <laughs> and we have a gain life combo instead of mill combo. All right. We're going to be able to gain 24 life the next turn, right? No, 18. 18 life the next turn. 12. 12 plus 6. 18. So against red, we probably want this Tristani and these Knight of Autumns, and Exclusion Mage is great against Steamkin, but that's about it. Oh yeah, we were not going to be too good against the Frenzy, admittedly. So if we get rid of the Time Waster, probably get rid of Tamio. Nah, Fibblethip, unfortunately, just being the 1-1. One -one. Yeah, that's his name. It's a very time waster. Well, 
Wall's good. Wall blocks pretty well. It's a blocker. This is basically just Doom Blade against Chain Whirler. It's Doom Blade. So I kind of want Frilled Mystic and Negates. Can I cut Land War Elves because of Chain Whirler? All right, bring in the Frilled Mystics, and I am going to get rid of um, Tamiya, who's kind of slow, and put in a couple Exclusion Mages just to kind of slow them down. I don't I don't even really like Exclusion Mage here, but I need to lower the curve just a little bit. Cool. Gotcha, your band's a lot slower. Gotcha. A lot of the red deck is going to be rotating out as well. Upcoming. Yeah, explore package is rotating out, but a lot of the red deck is. Like these cards. A little bit of a problem. Our hand hasn't worked out too well. I guess Exclusion Mage is good against these little 1-1 tokens. Don't know how we're winning this from here. Yes, yes, there will be a, a format to be able to use the cards that rotate out. Good game. Um, we don't know exactly what that format will look like yet, but yeah, right now it's being just referred to as Arena Modern. All right, Fibble Thibs back in. Because even if they do get Chain World, they at least draw a card. I'd rather have Spark Double than um, Mirror Entity because Spark Double can copy Tristani. 
Next deck we're going to play is Grixis Midrange. Going down the line here. This hand looks a lot like the last hand, but at least we get to be on the play this time. I can't imagine our opponents not playing Chain Whirler. I mean, it's 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 possible, but I would be pretty shocked. It's possible they sideboarded it out, I guess. So I'm just gonna be. Uh, uh, well, maybe not. I was planning on just... Okay, maybe so. Yeah, I'm going to just play this Knight of Autumn here just to, to play something on this turn. In this deck right here, Quiltine, because this is a a party bus deck where party where the party bus card is this battle mint, so we can't really play Sultai because this is a white card. I think the, the mass manipulation decks are they're okay. I. I do like the Bant version more than Simic. Um, uh, but I also think you can prepare against them pretty well. Uh, I think it is possible to prepare against them and have a good plan against mass manipulation. So this would be a 6-7 right now. Yeah. Party bus. I'm basically, I'm going Battlement over Tristani because I think this 6-7 can just kill them really quickly and I don't think they'll really have a good answer to it. After we play Tristani, it'll be a 7-8. If I play Tristani first... Uh, we we saw a lot of lava coils from them last game, where they then they lava coil my Tristani, and I don't really want the battlement to exile the tokens and just have a couple like little one one tokens. I think this is like the the better faster clock here for us. Oh, wait. Dang it. Alright, that, that's my bad. Right. I should have played that first and gotten one extra point of damage in. Right. Could have attacked for seven, put them down to seven. Whoops. N correct, it does not have trample. All right, so we'll see if they do have coil or not. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know if like not getting one single point of damage is gonna be is gonna hurt us too much. Hmm. 
So obviously this can, this thing gets blocked. Wizard's Lightning? That's rude. We haven't drawn a spell in a long time. That'd be nice to start drawing some spells here. My assistants are painfully slow. Play nice, they say. Oh, they're so cute. Take any spell. <laughs> Okay, that one's not so good. I did say any spell. That was probably the worst of the any spells. So wall of Lost Thoughts. Friend is here to help your pain. Alright, so our opponent does have enough power to kill the battlement now. They want to team up all this stuff on the battlement. Okay, they're not going to team up. Basically getting the Wild Growth Walker here now in case we would draw. Okay. That's a good one. In case we would draw, draw a Jade Light. Now that we see that they didn't have any like three damage burn spells and have the Frilled Mystic to protect it. Our last two draw steps have been good. Frilled Mystic and Spark Double. Now I have an even bigger creature, a 9-10. Couldn't deal with a 6-7 before, now we have a 9-10. Yeah, I could have just made another 6-7 and have the Wild Growth Walker out there. For sure. But 9-10s are cooler. Good game. Yeah, if only we had trample, right? All right, mono red defeated also, and we are four and zero. Oh. Battlement's just too big. Just too big. All right, we are at the five win mark. That means we are facing the final boss. So we're gonna switch over to the final boss playlist. And we're going to get our final boss emotes in chat. Hey, Madoc. 
good games. Those are some good games there. GG's. Oh yeah, I could have just had two buses. Just eat the, um, just if I would have just ate the wild growth walker, I could add a six seven and a seven eight bus. <laughs> yeah, battlements just really big, <laughs> and keyword big is is pretty good in this format with a lot of. You know, shocks and lightning strikes for removal spells kind of running around and a lot of things that kill things that have like CMC3 or less and a lot of huge, not a lot of like uh, regular removal spells. This card was just impressive there also. Like, this card's just been really good for us. The Spark Double. Unfortunately, I got a mulligan, right? Like, yeah, we got a mulligan. If we just had one more land. Ugh. Yuck. I didn't want five more lands. Temple Garden. The red deck? No, give me back that wall. Where's that wall? Alright, that's a fine two drop. I mean, this kills Frenzy. I already have a Jade Light. I already have a play next turn for Jade Light, and then Jade Light can set up my turn four. And this is my turn five. Nah. Vivian, like Vivian, can find you know it can just tick up and find like Wild Growth Walkers and Jade Lights and th things like that too. The bus. Hey, what's up, Gabrielle? Thanks for the sub there. I don't really want to shock, but we're shocking. That's a pretty good card there, uh, the Tamiyo. Speaking of just like finding stuff, like it's, it's good at like this specific point of the game. Okay, well it was a lot better a little bit ago. Now it's terrible. It was a lot better a little bit ago, whenever I actually had defense. I am Tamiya. It is let me aid your research. <laughs> uh Yeah. I guess So yeah, if you're a beginner to the game, I would kind of recommend just putting together like what our opponent's playing here, putting trying to put together a mono red deck. Uh, there, it's the um, easiest thing to kind of put together that will get you a good amount of wins. As far as just uh, if you're just learning magic in general, you can check out this link here that I'm putting in here for the level one course of MTG. Uh, where's that Vivian? Should have kept this Vivian on top all those times ago. A deck that's good against mono red. Uh, you want a, uh, you can have like a, a life gain heavy, uh, Esper deck, or 
Something similar there. Really glad we drew the non-shock land right after I had to shock the, the previous two turns. Thanks, Umpel Grove. Hey, thanks, D-Lev. Um, check that out here in just a second. Thanks for that donation deck there, though. I just have to have multiple four fives out there. All right, what do we have going on over here? Ooh, Golgari Walkers, the update there. I expect my opponent has... Like, why are they not attacking with Steamkin? Okay. Well, that's not killing me, at least. Another burn spell should do this. Alright, so I brought in all these Frilled Mystics, Rastanis, and Knight of Autumns. Maybe I want all the Exclusion Mages. Yeah, let's do all the Exclusion Mages. Okay. Hmm. Thanks, Xavier. Party bus for the win. Been doing good so far. Thanks for that. Sub, though, again, there, Xavier. Ugh, that's a high curve. Real Mystics are pretty powerful. So is Tristani. Exclusion Mage, slowing stuff down. On the draw, I would absolutely, like, mulligan this 100%. On the play here, if we just draw some lands... So our best our best anti steamkin card is exclusion mage here. Hmm. Give it a try. We're gonna need help. But we're gonna just need help in this matchup to begin with. And I, I can see this hand winning if we do get the help. <laughs> yeah, we're playing Gates. Ooh, no strike. That's a good sign. 
That's a good sign. All right, now, come on. Get this land. Get an untapped land here. Come on, deck. Untap lands. Okay. Time to start countering everything. They have four cards in hand. We can counter three of them. This is the Mission and Impossible theme. So I think they're just going to try to play Frenzy here and just get this out of my hand. But the problem is, is I, I have to do something. I don't, think, I don't think I can just take the shock and just keep taking Firebrand if they're just not going to... They're just going to sit back. So unfortunately, I just have to let them play Frenzy. Which is not good, but I'm priced into doing that. Because I got to get cards out of my hand. I mean, I, so I could take it and like one option was just taking it and just playing the the frilled mystic at end step, but oh, we can't even bounce our own frilled mystic with this card. That's lame. Yeah, our, our opponent played that really, really well. Yeah, our, our opponent played that very well. Hmm. They did not uh, give me an easy out with the Frilled Mystic. The biggest thing I kind of regret is I, I, I kind of wish I just didn't shock in and just played Exclusion Mage and didn't shock in. Because with me shocking in like that, it made it uh, pretty obvious of what I was doing. And they... Played it well against me. We do have our extra life, though, with this final boss, so even if we lose this, which is very likely from here, we do have an extra life. Thanks, Admiral. Thanks for that support. Welcome to the channel. But if I would have just played the Exclusion Mage, it was <clears throat> pretty likely that my opponent would have just had um, Would have had like would have just played the frenzy the next turn. Thanks, Raoul. Our sixth sub of the day. Thanks for the support, y'all. All right, so there goes the frenzy after they have a million cards in hand now and a million lands.
Yeah, maybe we could win this. Do you get to untap with a pretty decent battlefield here and it, and can have Frilled Mystic up? And then Battle Mint. Correct, Mercer. Yep, it is. Not sure if I was supposed to play the battlement there. Battle would be a six seven if I pick up the exclusion mage. The the problem with that though is I can only I could only block one of these two, and so if they had a three damage burn spell, like I would block like Steamkin and take the three from the other one. by this attack. That's a pretty surprising little attack. So I'm going to have two lethal attackers. I'm just going to pick up just the exclusion mage here. I'm going to have two lethal attackers. I mean, I, didn't even, I guess I didn't even need to pick up the ex exclusion mage to make it lethal, but make it really lethal. All right, we got that game. Hey, D-Lev, thanks for those two gifted subs there. To Jan B89 and Ardvan. Getting our sub count to eight. Getting those hype boats in the chat. Santa D. Lev. And Gasly getting in on the hype as well. Thanks, Gasly. Welcome to the channel. Okay, can we get game three with the party bus? It's going to be the hard game to win on the draw here. Our ninth sub of the day, one away from cracking a pack and uh, marking that down towards our next sub battle stream that we did yesterday. And Neon gets us there. Yeah, whenever we hit 15 total sub goals, we're going to be doing another sub battle stream. Because that's 
That's always a lot of fun. So there we go. That'll, we'll mark that one down. That's our third towards that. Uh, yeah, I think we need to keep that. Got a super janky Vanifar deck. Okay. That's what you're going to play yesterday, Zeal? Feeble Thieb. So definitely hoping no Chain Whirler, of course. <laughs> nice. All right, we'll trade with a Shock and draw a card. Good trade. That definitely means no Chain Whirler. War Boss. Hmm. Alright, so do I bounce the token or do I bounce the War Boss? I'm going to bounce the War Boss so that they have to spend... If they want to play War Boss again, they have to spend all the mana on it. If I bounce the token, they could just, like, you know, shock my Exclusion Mage and... Attack with War Boss and everything. Yeah, Spark Double Tristani could be really nice for us. Um, I may need to just Spark Double this Exclusion Mage here, honestly. Yeah, I think that's that's my plan. I can't I can't really wait till if I have five mana and everything. I gotta just bounce the Steamkin. So I either want to draw, like draw, like land is like our best draw, but if we're not gonna draw land, I would like a Branch Walker. So we could, wild well, growth and Branch Walker, that'd be nice. What? Oh, they thought the Exclusion Mage was, was a 2-2, two -two, like the other one. I thought it was a 2-2. Alright, so here comes Frenzy. Really hope their top card's a land. So they don't get to actually play anything here. Because then we get to pop it. Really hope their top card's a land. Just pass turn. This is a uh, Bant Party Bus. It's the deck that we're playing right now. Playing the Tristani was also like our best thing to do against War Boss because you know our opponent could have uh, just played the War Boss last turn, but playing War Boss into Life Link tokens is a really bad idea. We're getting there so far, and it's likely our opponent's just drawing a land this turn. So that, that was probably the land on top. Oh, wow. What a great draw. Because we're just ahead here. I'm just going to keep the... I'm just going to 
keep Frilled Mystic up to be able to pre press our advantage. Yeah, I have all the yeah all the gate packs to get the land art there. All right, and we ended up getting the five zero, including beating Mono Red twice in a row the last two matches. Vamp Party Bus. Wow, what a league. Started off real strong and finished just as strong. So we got to, so we played two Esper Control and then uh, for our first two, we got to do the um, Infinite Mill combo with our Wall of Lost Thoughts and, and Triple Battlements and three Battlements. We got to do that combo there and uh, yeah, then also ended up being mono red a couple of times. Yeah, GG's. That five win dream. All right, good call. We got to our 10 subs. We got to crack a pack. Um, let's crack another pack also for the 5 0. Let's crack two of these packs. We got two packs here. Let's crack them both. Wow, got an Elder Spell. That was probably the best rare I had left. So that should be the fourth Elder Spell. I don't know how many rares I actually have left. Definitely want to open up Mythics. Mythic. Yeah, single combat. Yeah, Band Party Bus was a whole lot of fun. Whole lot of fun. Um, everything worked out pretty well with the deck, honestly. Nothing really to change immediately after that. Um, ex even Exclusion Mage was good. You know, I was wondering about that card, but yeah, that card was good. Yeah, everything worked out pretty well with the deck. Awesome. All right, GG's. All right, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, uh, please hit that like button and the subscribe button as well. I'd be really appreciative of both of those. Um, but thank you so much for watching Band Party Bus, and I hope to see you for another video.